At 630 fireplaces, yes, they can feel like lifesavers when frosty weather moves in, but they can also pose a risk. And today, firefighters put out a mobile home fire near the Black Forest area they believe tied to ash. And they want you to learn this important lesson. New at 630, our Jessica Barreto in studio watching out for you with that safety information. Jessica. That's right, Rob. Although the homeowner was too distraught to go on camera, a family friend told me she lost everything during the Black Forest fire back in 2013 and is now being forced to relive that painful experience as she copes with today's fire. It's been almost five years since a wildfire blazed across Black Forest, destroying over 500 homes and leaving behind charred remains. News 5 was there. There's just been a lot of smoke and I just didn't know what was going on. Just going to destroy more houses and it's going to become another fire. And today, firefighters were back at it again, this time putting out a mobile home fire on Herring Road that sparked shortly before noon. The cause? Fireplace ashes flaring up a week after being left outside. The homeowner losing everything to the Black Forest fire and now confronted with another frightening experience. We still have standing dead burnt trees and this homeowner was affected back then and now is affected again by fire. So. The Black Forest Fire Department hoping you'll keep this in mind before you toss your fireplace ashes. It's a good thing to make sure that you put your ashes from your fireplace out and make sure they're out before you uh, leave them. High winds making this already scarred landscape the perfect environment for fire to spread. But as long as those fire prone ashes are kept at bay, the trees and grass can focus on making a comeback. The area is coming back, but you know, just like everything, it takes time. And in addition to making sure your fireplace ashes are completely out before placing them outside, firefighters stress it's important to dispose of those ashes in a metal bucket and pour water on them too. Rob. Jessica, thanks. Good information and over on KOAA.com right now. We've posted all the information you need to be proactive about fire safety and keeping your home and family safe. Head online right now to check it out.